Now that recreational marijuana is legal in Minnesota, dispensaries are budding across the state. And one city is hoping that it can smoke out the competition and roll those profits into future projects. Our Mary McGuire joining us live in Osseo tonight. The city council members there already working on a framework for what could be, Mary, the state's first city-owned dispensary. Well, Amy, the city of Osseo does not have a city owned liquor store, but they want to become the first city in the state to have a municipal marijuana store, perhaps even inside of City Hall. With just over 2,500 residents, the city of Osseo is known as a quiet, safe suburb. But City Council Member Mark Schulz wants it to be known for something else. He hopes his city will become the first in the state to operate their own municipal marijuana store. If we're going to have to have one, I think it's a viable option for the community to be able to have hands-on hard stake in how it operates in their community. For a small town like Osseo, the potential tax benefits of a city-owned cannabis shop are obvious. Plus, Shells says their public safety partners would be able to have oversight not possible with a privately owned business. There's not really a way for a community to say, no, we don't want this type of a store here. Like, if we're going to have to have a store and our public safety department is apprehensive, why not give them a seat at the table? Osseo council members have formed a subcommittee that's been tasked with looking into the idea, which would most likely include the creation of a new city department and could see the store located within a city building. Any option is possible. Scholes admits there are still a lot of unknowns when it comes to how everything will work, and he looks forward to the legislature defining some of those things for them. He also acknowledges a new idea like this is something not everyone will agree on. I think that there are going to be some people that are going to have very, very specific objections to it. I, I, I appreciate that. I respect that. Now, the state law does allow both cities and counties to have municipally owned marijuana stores under some rules and regulations. Reporting live tonight, Mary McGuire, Fox 9.